Yeah, a ridiculous story that has sort of been covered online. People follow the right accounts over the last however many years. But rapists wrongly labelled as women by police. So I've, I've seen this examples of this multiple times, but someone sort of put it all together. And it turns out that 260 females have been referred to the Crown Prosecution Service over the last four years uh, under the charge of rape. Which, as a coincidence, uh, female rape went up... 260%. I haven't done my maths properly or whatever. Is that 2006? Anyway, the point is, female rape is somewhat of a misnomer because there needs to be a police involved. Yeah, you can't... I mean, it's, it's impossible for a woman to, to rape because, it, it, yeah. Yeah, by definition, it's the insertion of... Yeah, rape. so then the police... So this is, like, people going, no, I'm a woman, and then the police, like, putting it down as that. And then when the newspapers report it, they go, oh, a woman... Ra you know, really some horrible story... And then, and then, and then you hear that, and you go, "This is let's wait till they release the photo." And then it's just a blow with a beard. Oh, <laughs> who just says? Who yeah. just says? I'm a woman. Which, oh. you know, which by a lot of a lot oh, of people would say that's legitimate. I can't believe what I'm hearing from you two transphobes. Listen, the way I'm reading this is that women need to do better. That's what I'm <laughs> reading in this story. They're out here, they're committing these horrific crimes, and they need to do better. Better women sort it out. That's what I'm yeah. reading. But that is, but I mean, that is, the, I mean, that's funny. But that, you know, it, but the point they're is. Women. Josh. No, but the point is... Josh, they are women and they need to do... When the stats are misrepresented like yeah. this, it has a serious impact because you suddenly... Female rape goes up these, this amount of percentage. Yeah, and People impossible. start looking at the historical... You need to use the data to, for crime prevention for all these different reasons yeah. and suddenly they go, oh, what happened that suddenly made all these women over here rape? Oh, they were blokes. And also it's, it's obviously a nonsense. You know, if, some, if a bloke uh, rapes a woman uh, and, but then says to the police, oh, I identify as a, as a woman... The police shouldn't then be recording that that person as well. I think you, yeah. you waive your right to transition to any gender when you commit a heinous crime like that. <laughs> and also, a lot of men, there's an incentive uh, for men to transition to women when they've committed a horrific crime like this because you get a new name. So anybody who Googles your new name, you know, Loretta... Uh, Loretta the Rapist. Yeah, is, isn't going to see your, your history. And that's, that's what we've seen yeah. so many men... And also so the victims, do. you know, you've got this insane thing where the victims are in court having to address their attacker as a as a woman yeah i mean yeah. It's, it's which has just got yeah. to like just gaslighting uh, it's got to lay on you know so much yeah. so much more uh, insult to, to yeah. injury so any anyway, so other brave men supposedly in the past said you can't you've got to stop doing this the yeah. police of course have just utterly ignored her right and they're, now i think they're, they're even gonna... their instructions from owen jones or the snp <laughs> yeah, exactly. do you mean there's a lot of people who would say this is perfectly legitimate of course these are real women they've, they've self identified I'm saying, I'm saying as it. women i'm saying it. I'm saying, it. saying it. I'm saying it and they need to do better that's what i'm saying they need to stop yeah. it cut this out